Hi sis, welcome to Fab Chic Matters. How are you doing? My name is Doris and here we talk everything fashion, how to look fabulous, chic, sophisticated, edgy, feminine on a budget while being modest at the same time. So if this is your first time, welcome sis. I really hope that you'll join this family by the end of this video or you know in the middle or in the beginning. It's up to you. Hopefully you will. <laughs> <laughs> and if this is not your first time, thank you so much. So what do we have today for this video? It's almost Valentine's Day and every year I do a lookbook. I actually share some styling ideas for Valentine's Day and it, you don't have to necessarily even celebrate Valentine's Day. I personally don't. But since any excuse to show some styles, put some looks together. I mean, come on. And the thing is, you can also go to Valentine's Day with your girlfriends or just date nights or just going out, you know, looking chic by yourself or with family. It doesn't matter. You can use those styling options that I gave you and be creative with your own wardrobe. So I'm so excited to show you the four looks that I have for you today. Um, before I start with the looks, outfit of the day, something simple. This is actually a dress I showed you when I was purging my um, dresses rack a few videos earlier. If this is your first time, I have been purging for a few weeks now. My wardrobe, I'm not done yet, but I have already three or four installations. I think three. The fourth one is actually coming soon. So go check it out it's a lot of fun I share my styling ideas and you see what I have in all this and uh, yeah I, I just I just love you know just accumulating something so <laughs> so this is a dress that I have I haven't really worn a lot and I saw it and I was like yes I love it. it's a maxi dress it's very cool and I love the big bold um, flowers and then I decided to add it's a sleeveless dress I wanted something a bit soft because you know I'm doing a Valentine's Day video and you know the color of love and pink and red I'm wearing my thrifted vintage long like blazer dress over it how do you like it I love this I feel like it's adding a new dimension to the dress you know a bit more like elegant and sophisticated at the same time and this is such a nice um, blazer dress i love that it's short sleeved because most blazers are long sleeves and so i love that i love the soft like peachy pink color and of course the accents with the um, golden buttons oh, double breasted gorgeousness and this is a thrifted hat as well that I showed here already on this channel. Actually, I wore this already on this channel. I may find a picture and insert it here so you can kind of jog your memory. Um, then, yeah, this is something I thrifted as well at Goodwill. And I love that soft pink, that baby pink color. I think it's just gorgeous, very edgy. It's a bit smaller, which it's supposed to be. Then, you know, you just tilt it a little bit, tilt it a little bit to, to give it some swag. And what else? Oh. I love those scarves. Don't you love it? I'm really giving you, I feel like every video now I'm like, <laughs> I'm really giving you a touch of pink. I love these scarves. Those I bought long ago from Shein. And I really like the, um, almost like broken shells. And I've had it for years and it's still doing really good. I mean, I love it. I love, love it. I feel like, you know, it's a nice piece of accessory. To my look you know here more is more you know that already so <laughs> nothing new here in case you are wondering this is a bag that i bought from shopakira.com the brand is akira and i love that i have the orange version and i have a pink version let me show you because you know sometimes you may see something and i'll show you right away so you know already akira those are out of stock i got them about two years ago so they're just so cute I call them the boxy bags. They're just so cute and yummy, so I love to display them. And they're actually big enough to put my cell phone and stuff when I go out. So, anyways, let's start with the looks now. <laughs> now, the particularity about my Valentine's Day video this year is that I wanted to add some prints to it, you know, to the looks. And uh, this is different. The other years, I was just wearing some pink, some peach, some red. But, you know, it's like the print edition. Let's play with some prints here now. I love my prints. So I'm so excited. Let's dive into the first look. This is a dress um, that I actually bought from Zara. 
and i really love that dress i got it on sale i think two or three years ago maybe three years ago actually it was on sale for like 15 dollars i just loved everything about it i love the cut it's very flowy i think it's made off of polyester and of course when i saw the print i love the deep rich colors of it between the green let me get closer so you can see you see that green and that orange and the brown i mean that's me all the way you see what you i can help it i love it and i love how flow it was you know it was it's very flattering it doesn't hug um you know all your curves it's got pockets i love that kind of like boho chic kind of um vibe for a dress like this it's not completely maxi like i can wear um some tennis shoes i can dress it down with some you know, some sandals some mules some platform boots anything goes with that dress and this is a dress i decided to wear i actually wore this here on this channel a while back with um some cowboy boots and a scarf i believe i'll insert the picture so you know what i'm talking about yeah that's the same dress so you see how you can also kind of wear it by itself <laughs> i know sometimes i don't you know but i love to layer but i think i was wearing by itself on that on that video and this dress is very very nice and i didn't want to wear the dress by itself i really wanted to elevate it and usually if you go on date night or you go out it gets a bit colder um i mean it's very very cold in certain parts of the us right now but usually i like to have something up top you know to elevate this look then i got my um, zara gilet out and i love that sleeveless blazer i have um, i've had it for like three or four years and like i said i have different colors of those they really come in so handy for somebody like me who is a creative and i love fashion and styling i have like the white version the pink um i have several whites actually different kind of you know styles i have a blue so i love love this let me show you this oh my gosh you can wear this so many different ways actually button it down and it looks like double breasted this is so fabulous and the colors when you think about it go so well together right so wearing both together i think really added an element of sophistication then for shoes what did i wear okay so this is a haul as well you did not know you were going to get a fashion haul sis did you so i actually bought those shoes from zara oh my goodness like six months ago and i never did a haul here on this channel um because i never got around to it but those were like a flash flash sale or something you, you know what i mean like you blink you miss it a lot of people did not see that that's why i kind of check the website often this is such a nice pair of thigh high boots and i have been on the run for a thigh high boot i have a lot of like you know knee high boots but thigh high i feel like there is like an element of um, chicness that you know i was researching and something more smooth and like seamless not something bulky like the lag soles um thigh high and i believe i have one like this but it's like a lag sole you know it's very bulky and very like a bit manly but this is so nice it's like oh, real leather sis real leather and i'm telling you it fits me perfectly and for thigh high boots like this this is so practical there's no heel it's a flat so that's a bonus because sometimes you just want to be comfortable sis you just want to be comfortable comfortable yet stylish right? and sis i grabbed this thing so fast next thing i know the next day it sold out never came back in stock i don't know why but i grabbed mine so for this dress because it's a midi one i was like that would be perfect you know it really adds an element of sophistication while being practical at the same time you're going on a long walk for example but for this i like the subdued option for shoes you see what i mean because the print already bright so i added like a plain color um to the dress and i wanted something black i don't want something green again you see what i mean i love my colors trust me and i can go overboard but for this one i really wanted to like a subdued look and so i'm wearing those boots i think oh, they're so cute you can go out to eat you can go dancing you can go whatever 
so this is what I'm wearing and then for the bag I really wanted to tie in with a sleek look of a boot so I am wearing this uh, thrifted real leather bag sis this bag it says made in Italy oh my gosh it's so luxurious let me just you know prance around a little bit on it so you can see how it looks like <laughs> I love love this bag it is so gorgeous when I thrifted it for like five dollars or whatnot I could not believe it it's actually it says Vera Perle if you can see it made in Italy oh, oh my gosh like people say it's like butter it's so soft so smooth and vintage I mean the shape of it is just gorgeous Talking about quiet luxury, this is really quiet luxury. It's not a Fendi, it's not a Gucci, Louis Vuitton and whatnot, but this is as much, so much more sophisticated, I think. I mean, you're looking really, you're looking expensive without saying anything. You have class, you have style. I love this. And if you know me, you know already, you don't need to spend a lot of money to look chic. You don't, because I don't. I love my high street, but my thrifting, I mean, come on, most of my stuff is thrifted. So uh, I added that to the look. I feel like, you know, if you are going out even like for lunch, this is such a nice bag, you know, this can contain so many things, your cell phone, your car keys, your notebook, whatever you need. So this is such a practical bag as well. I kind of want to kind of cinch in my waist because it was very like loosey-goosey oversized. So do not fear. I actually wanted to add a saddle belt to kind of cinch in my waist a little bit, a saddle belt. And this is a belt by Zara and I bought it donkey years ago <laughs> a long time and it's actually elastic i mean it's not elastic but it stretches and uh, it's very nice i'm thinking i wanted something a bit you know a thinner belt to not really attract um the attention because the outfit oh my gosh this belt is everything As much as I love my corset belt and my regular belts, there is a time and a place for thin, discreet, elegant belts. I'm telling you, that's why I'm a maximalist because I love to have a little bit of each different styles um, to actually, you know, add to my wardrobe and to give me more options and more style. So this is a belt I added. And what, what else? I mean, of course, the jewelry goes... It goes without saying the jewelry, the sunglasses, and this is the first look. going to talk about the second look and of course we're talking about valentine's day right so i wanted to bring in some red a pop of red but do not fear there will be a pop of plants of course added to the mix but you'll see in the accessory this time i am pulling out my zara wide leg kind of like it's not really too wide but they're still wide wide leg slacks this red color says zara can do a mean mean pair of trousers I mean, when they actually want to invest in, the, in a good material, they do. <laughs> and I actually bought this one last year um, in Miami at the Zara, and this was not even on the website at all. So right now, I actually spotted a similar pair on the website. And if you want me, I'll include the link in the description box. In the description. <laughs> I'll include the link in the description box for you so you can go check it out. But I wear size XL. And if I'm wearing shapewear, let's be honest, this here, you know, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes to, you know, suck in everything. So it can kind of look smooth <laughs> in your clothes. But if I'm wearing shapewear, I'll say that it's a bit loose, you know, kind of goes down my hips. Not that it's going to fall, but, you know, but if I'm not wearing shapewear, XL fits just fine. Women's secret, you know. <laughs> 
So I love the material of this, these pairs of pants. I have several of them and I have some tapered, um, thrifted, like vintage pairs of trousers like this. And like I said, I love different styles for different occasions, for different looks and silhouettes. So I give myself options. But if you are looking for the perfect pair of um, red trousers for work, for any event, please go check out Sarah. I'll insert the link. But this is the pair, it's just gorgeous. So this is really bright and vivid, right? I really wanted to tone it down a little bit, eh, just a little bit, you know me. With um, this blazer by Zara that I bought, oh, uh, maybe three or four years ago. And this is everything. I actually bought it on, on sale. They have two big sales or three. Actually two main um, sales during the year. And that's when they actually really slash the prices and I just fell in love with the design and the style of this blazer says. Look at the asymmetrical end here. I love the ruching, very flattering. It's actually double breasted. So this is so stylish. This blazer here has so much charm. I think they were actually calling it a dress if I'm not mistaken, but says for us, it's a blazer. You see why I like those kind of lenser blazers, almost like what I'm wearing. This could actually be a dress as well. I mean, if you are petite or shorter, that'll be just fine. So I love this. I feel like this adds an element of really like fashion week, fashion forward. You know, you know what you're talking about. You're professional, you're meticulous, you're just very femme fatale very business-like while being elegant at the same time. So I feel like the cream color with the red pants just pops. And then I added underneath it like a regular white t-shirt, which you can add a turtleneck, something white or cream. I feel like we'll kind of like keep it together, look a bit more minimalistic while being chic at the same time so good and then for shoes i wanted to really continue with the cream and the off-white theme um, to match a blazer those this pair of boots this is by zara um this is real leather and i bought it a few years back oh my gosh those platform boots are so good they are the, one of the most comfortable shoes i own trust and believe because i mean the platform is good the quality of a shoe you're not deteriorating you're very elegant very stable and i love the stylish kind of like squarish toe as well so it really gives you option this with a maxi dress oh my gosh i think i wore it with a maxi dress here on this channel already with my pink thrifted dress i bought over halloween about three or four years ago i believe those are the boots i was wearing this well, so with dresses, with pants, with a skirt, those are so edgy and also giving you the height and the oomph that you needed, you know. So this is what I'm wearing for shoes. And where do the prints come from? The prints come from the bag. Let me remove it so I can show you. This is a trip haul Love, love, love this bag. This is actually thrifted. Let me get closer. Isn't that gorgeous? This is fabulous. When I saw this, it really reminded me of um, my teenage years when I was, you know, I don't know, 17, 18, almost in Y2K era, you know, the Britney Spears, the Spice Girls, the Aaliyah. If you my age, you know. <laughs> So it really brought me there and actually the Y2K trend has really come back for the past two or three years. So like the baguette bag and the um, kind of crescent shape bag, it's all come back. But when I saw the prints, you know what I mean about prints. So prints come in different shapes and um, textures and colors. This is like a zebra print almost. I mean, when you add the long fringe. What do you expect? You add the long French to it. Oh, love, love this bag. For me, these days, to even buy a bag, it really has to be exceptional. And when I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm buying this for sure. And it's, the, it's very nice inside. Let me see if I can see the brand for you. Banana Republic, what do you know? Banana Republic. So practical, you know, you can just throw everything in there, you put together, and I feel like, the brown is also complementing the whole look because I told you we're not doing basic 
plain solid colors this year for date night or valentine's day i'm bringing some prints one way or another <laughs> So this is what I chose, you know, because sometimes you don't want to be loud. Um, and this is my style aesthetic. It's not everyone. So I wanted to give you options on how you can add some pizzazz, you know, some razzle dazzle to your own look. And this is what I wore. The shoes and of course, I'm in the jewelry. You know, I treat my jewelry. I get some even at Walmart. I get, you know. Salvation Army, Goodwill. So add whatever jewelry you want. But oh my gosh, the bangles. The bangles for the look, they need a standing ovation. Because I wanted to go also with a brown fame. You know me. More is more. Yes. Was a nice bracelet that I actually bought at one of the thrift stores around me i don't remember where but isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh it's so some I, I love it i love it set and i wore one on each arm and i like it i try to instill always like a pop of um culture so this is my style aesthetic you know that already <laughs> For the third look before i move on have you subscribed to my channel yet sis come on now i'm sure you're enjoying the fashion you're enjoying the commentaries and the shenanigans and the laughter so i hope that you are subscribing now for the third look if you remember i actually made a video was it i think maybe last definitely last year um for the zara sales haul and this is the satin, the long satin dress that I bought. Remember I said, I know the back is open, but says, although I'm modest, I don't shy away from like cut out and spaghetti straps because I layer my things. And I love that kind of like um, creative process to add more elements to my look, more colors and really make it work. And I loved, I loved this dress when I found it, when I saw it on the website. And this is perfect. I got size XL and it fits me perfectly well. Like, you know, I add bodysuits, t-shirts. I wear stuff over things, you know, blouses, kimono. So isn't that gorgeous? Do you even see? Do you even see the movement of this dress? Oh, just gorgeous. So guess what? I wore this. When I actually made the haul, I told you, this can serve as a dress or a skirt. Even when it's colder, for example, you can wear a sweater over it, your tennis shoes, because you can dress it down, definitely. Um, your tennis shoes, your boots, your combat boots, you can really make it street style. And I love how flowy and long it is. It almost looks like a nighty, <laughs> but it looks very chic and luxurious. And the color is very shiny. I just love it. Um, it has kind of like a of a train. I wanted to wear this. Now, I was looking for a top, which is a thrift haul. I'm going to do like a dedicated thrift haul. So it's coming soon. That's why you may want to subscribe, sis. This is one of the pieces that I bought. And since this is vintage, it's by Jessica Howard. And the tag is still on, $6.99. And let me tell you, when I saw this, I was like, yes, I hope it fits me. It really fits actually very nice, size 14. So, you know, I need space for the girls and it's perfect. I just loved also the crisscrossing here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? At the bottom, very stylish. So like the sides are longer and it's very flattering. You know, the flow of it, of course, the animal points. What do you think? I love me some animal points. So wearing this top over the dress is just like perfection. They were made for each other. And of course, because more is more over here. And I wanted to also bring another reminder of the animal print. I wanted to wear just, I don't want to wear just some regular like black shoes. I wanted to wear some animal print shoes. I chose these Zara boots. I bought them 
a few probably last year or two years ago and i felt like the animal prints were quite similar um in the tone you know a bit darker i mean i was like yes yes i think this looks perfect together you know you don't have to but it's me i can add pile on animal prints up on animal prints the more the better and i have actually done I've gone thrifting, for example, and wearing my um, animal print sweater or cardigan with my animal prints, thrifted long maxi skirt. And people are like, this is amazingly looking good. I'm like, I know, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Not everybody's cup of tea, but it's okay. So I loved it together. Love this. They almost look like Edwardians in a way because they are very extra long like you know the pointed toe is very kind of exaggerated that shape is very like reminiscent of like a period piece if you know what i mean very very doable kit and heel and it's very nice it has like a scuba kind of material like neoprene which is very comfortable and i was like yes because the dress is so long it's a maxi dress you're just going to see like the top you're just going to see like the points of the boots and when you sit down all elegant you know you just cross your legs yes, yes, yes. so good so those are the shoes that i bought so you see how i am mixing high street thrifting i hope you see my process of how to be creative with your own wardrobe mixing pieces together so yeah i'm wearing this now i wanted to add to take this whole ensemble a notch up again like just let's level up let's level up just a smidgen or just a lot i wanted a more kind of formal outfit you know more distinguished should i say i got this blazer this treated blazer out i can see thrifted now let me tell you sis this blazer is just so chic oh my gosh long beautiful a tuxedo blazer you need one you need one and you can thrift one very easily i love how sleek it is with a satiny feel very reminiscent of a dress do you see how everything kind of goes together so you're kind of wearing like a tuxedo skirt suit in a way you know with a splash of prints still kind of like toned down but it goes together i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to say i love this blazer i have had it for years i mean look at the stitching but how can i go a bit up let's go up let's go up hmm i was thinking let's add some gloves but not just every day's gloves sis these are by zara and i bought them last sale this is such a nice pair of fingerless gloves yes fingerless you know me i'm ready for anything <laughs> i am ready i have my arsenal is ready for any type of styling you know that so how do you wear this and there you go now tell me tell me this is not fabulous you can still wear your rings you can still you know manipulate your phone you can still hold on to things because they're fingerless but they are so glamour they're not just your regular gloves right i wanted to add this to this tuxedo it almost looks like it comes together it's a continuation of a glam and i love this look Ooh, yes and then what did i wear of course the necklace i love the big like the, the bib necklaces you know no layering just that big gold plated necklace that i thrifted as well and then my bag which was this bag i love this golden accent isn't that nice it's textured and either i got it from shein or zara i don't remember but isn't that nice i feel like a clutch is so like apropos for certain looks to look more regal really more like formal you're going to a chic cocktail party to a black tie event i feel like to a gala if you're holding this it's not going to be walking like <laughs> you know it kind of forces you to be elegant if you notice how for example the british royalty how they kind of stand their stance their poise they hold most of the times like um, a clutch like this so 
extend like this it really forces it to be lady like you see what i mean in your poses so yes i love love a good clutch for events if you really want to be chic more elegant more feminine you need a clutch and you don't have to have different colors sis you can just have yourself a black clutch and it goes with most things so, of course like i got several but it's just me <laughs> so yeah this is what i am wearing with that and uh, sunglasses just you know to add the mystique and the drama to the photo shoot why not and so that's it Now for the big finale, Prince up the wazoo. I wanted to go Prince Galore, take it or leave it, this is me. <laughs> and it's also a haul. I have a haul coming from an African store online. And uh, this is my Obioma. This is Obioma. They actually, their clothes are made in Nigeria and they are based, I think, in the US. So I bought four items from them like a while back, like seven months ago or something. I've never gotten around to doing the haul, but sis, I purchased this dress from them. And let me tell you, I love the prints. I love my culture. I love our Ankara fabric. I love the different designs that we have. Um, you know, in terms of prints and colors, and this is so me. It spoke to my soul, and I was like, you know what? We can still wear something that bold, uh, you know, during Valentine's Day. And now we're talking about February being the, not now, but you know what I mean. It's February. It's Black History Month. So, I mean, all the more reasons, right? There you go. This dress is maxi. You know my love for maxi dresses. It's very long and actually longer than me. So I have to wear something like some compensated shoes, platform shoes with it. And it's just beautiful. Beautiful. I love the fabric. And yeah, nothing else to add. Nothing else to add. But you know me, I just won't stop right here. It's as glam as it is, as fabulous. I needed something and I was like, I feel like mixing prints. I felt like in the mood to mix prints and I was thinking, hmm, how can I do this skillfully in a nice way? Yes. This is thrifted. Like I said, it's coming soon in the haul. I've had it for a while now by H&M. Um, from the brand Divided and let me tell you sis when I saw this zigzaggy psychedelic black and white print and in a cropped jacket it's almost like a light denim actually I was like oh yes 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 <laughs> so I got it I bought it and the tag is still here sis $4.99 if you are not thrifting yet sis what are you waiting for $4.99 this is gorgeous and this by itself you can make so many different outfits you know you look so chic everybody will be like you know this is really an attention grabber I feel like some prints really catch your attention and I have several like this for example this one I love those black and white prints, you know. This is my way also sometimes to kind of tone it down while being me at the same time and being extra. Um, and actually go with my love of prints. And this is actually zebra, but this zigzag prints is just amazing. It's just amazing. So that's what I got out to play with this dress. And the video is coming, but I feel like I'm giving you nuggets of points mixing in every video so that should inspire you already with what I've given you already with my mixing prints 
for different looks. It should give you an idea of, of how to mix your own prints at home and to not be scared to doing that. But I feel like the black and white fits perfectly with the black and white also in the dress. Don't you think so? Whew. Love it. I absolutely love it. And I feel like because it's not a long jacket, it's kind of giving that, it's kind of giving the spot for that dress to still shine. You know, it's not really like so long that you don't see um, the dress anymore. It's just cropped and then you see the dress in all its glory. I love this aspect. I love it. What was I doing? I'm like, <laughs> oh, I can talk fashion all day. I hope you catch that because I love it. And I love that together. And of course, because this has a color, but this color is more like, you know, more grand. I actually tacked in this, the color of this jacket under this, you know, to kind of bring it back out as the star of the show. And I feel like the whole look is just fabulous, fabulous. They mesh so well together and you couldn't have even thought about it when you think about it. But yes, they mesh so well together. And I love the combo, yes. And for shoes, like I said, I need some platform boots, which I could have worn something black. Black, I have plenty of black boots. Um, black and wedge, you know, with a wedge, with a platform. But I was like, why going black? No, no, no. Let me just see that right here. Yes. Love this. Very, very comfortable. Forever 21. Forever 21. I got this over the New Year sale for, I don't know, $15 or something. Very, very cheap. I knew the day would come. <laughs> I love those boots and I feel like, you know, they added some extra edge to my shoe game with this look while also adding to the kind of like the cream, the white color and it was fabulous together. Of course, you can wear some black platform boots, I could, you know, um, on a different occasion because like you said, you know, I like to mix mix and match my stuff and one day when I'll sell this dress with something else you won't even recognize that dress here yeah. so I love to come up with different colors and accessories and uh, I think I really did a good job here oh the print mixing is not over what am I thinking it's not over yet go big or go home with this look <laughs> go big or go home. This is a Bottega Veneta dupe. This is on Amazon. This kind of like fluffy clash is so nice. So nice to hold it under your arm. Very chic. I love that. And this is what I decided to pair with this look. Prints on prints on prints. I'm not even talking to you about the sunglasses. Come on. And this is my own thing. Like I said, you don't have to do it, but sis, I love it. I love it. This is by Amazon. This is a low ever dupe, Amazon. Like I said, you don't have to spend the big bucks. You just wait for it to be duped <laughs> or you go to a thrift store. Yeah, I believe this is all for this look. Are done for this video sis oh I am so excited for all of the looks that I created for you and I hope that you know you may have some you know some similar things in your wardrobe or you may not but still play with what you have you know trying to kind of layer things together and of course if you live in a colder climate 
granted i live in florida so i didn't really include like turtlenecks and sweaters and stuff like that but you know it really gives you the foundation for some fun and funky looks and very feminine and chic and sophisticated all of the good things i gave you quite a few options so if you have enjoyed this video come on now sis you know you want to subscribe subscribe like share my videos and uh, comment as well let me know which look is your favorite i want to know yeah and i'll see you soon in a fabulous fashion video i have um quite a few hauls coming soon so you may want to tune in bye <laughs> stay blessed